Hey everyone, if you have prayer, let me know. I will pray for you. God loves her. 365 devotions for woman by woman, our daily bread. Get out of there. Jeez. Love you, whole world. 1 John 4 7 through 19. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. 1 John 4 16. When my niece Jenna was three years old, she had an expression that never failed to melt my heart. When she loved something, really loved it, be it banana cream pie, jumping on the trampoline, or playing frisbee, she would proclaim, I love it, whole world. Whole world, world accompanied with a dramatic sweep of her arms. Sometimes I wonder, when's the last time I dared to love like that? With nothing held back, completely unafraid. God has loved, John wrote repeatedly, 1 John 4, 8, and 16. Perhaps because the truth that God loves, God's love, not our anger, fear, or shame, is the deepest foundation of reality, is hard for us grown-ups to get. The world divides us into camps based on what we're most afraid of, and all too often we join in, ignoring or villainizing the voices that challenge or our preferred vision of reality. Yet amid the deception and power struggles, verses 5 through 6, the truth of God's love remains, a light that shines in the darkness, inviting us to learn the path of humility, trust, and love, 1, 7 through 9, and 3, 18. For no matter what painful truths the light uncovers, we can know that we'll still be loved, 4, 10, 18, and Romans 8, 1. When Jenna would lean over and whisper to me, I love you, whole world, I would whisper back, I love you, whole world, and I'm grateful for a gentle reminder that every moment I'm held in limit, I'm held in Limitless Love and Grace by Monica. I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your Tuesday and God bless.